She's Ooh. getting it. Oh, we're going down? Uh-oh, we're going to get low. Oh, get low, get low. Oh, she's getting some exercise. She's getting some exercise. Tribute at One Loudon is an assisted living and memory care community located in Ashburn, Virginia. Well, I feel safe in here. And like hundreds of other senior living communities across the country, recently found out about its first group of COVID-19 positive residents. And yet life continues inside. You step in a you knob. Hi, hey, ciao. Hi, this is a beautiful lady. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Les Stretch here, president of Thrive Senior Living. And if you've seen the news lately, you've seen the stories of nursing homes with 60 and 70 residents who've passed away due to COVID-19 and our hearts break for them. Um, what you can't see because of visitor restrictions, neither you nor the media, is what's actually happening behind the walls of senior living communities across the country. And so we thought we'd show you. I can remember the first day that they, all the positives started rolling in on the second floor. And that day was just mind blowing. Like literally, I just wanted to just cry. I didn't have any, like, it was just, it was real, it was here. It was almost like, okay, it's here now. So yeah. now we're gonna do everything that we've been talking about. What we're doing currently is just spray all the surfaces and we, and we leave that liquid there. And what you're actually going after is a 10 minute wet contact kill time. And it's proved incredibly effective both to maximize uh, the effectiveness of the chemicals and also to maximize our ability to clean large areas in, in a large building. When you first heard there was a virus, how did it make you feel? I haven't had the virus. I know, that's what I was saying. When you heard it was out oh, there. Oh, I was and, scared. I bet. I don't. <laughs> yeah. It, it bothers me. You know, there's definitely an initial shock and it takes some time to process. And I think uh, people are uh, scared and anxious and uh, those are real feelings that you have to acknowledge. And it's okay to sit in that for a second and, and own that moment, but you can't stay there. And uh, you gotta bring your eyes up and start moving forward. And I think largely the teams have done that really well. Take a deep breath, relax. So we tested everybody, whether they had symptoms or not. And had we not done that, we would have spread more because we had a number of residents and team members, majority, who had no symptoms at all, who were positive. I've seen some of them, you know, a couple of people have recovered and, uh, I just, I still worry about the people that are positive. I always tell people, look, the Marine Corps was a way of life for me. It wasn't a job. I love it. You know? Yeah. And uh, that was good. And when I think of it now, I puff up and... <laughs> yeah, this has been around um, four or five weeks. Okay. Yeah, so bad. You have to be going stir crazy a little and bit. And it's really... Sort of, I'm controlling it, you know. How are you controlling it? What are you doing to control Common sense. Just plain common sense. Yeah. Do the best you can and grin and bear it. I've been dealing with depression. Yeah. And this has really made it bad, but when they come in and sat and talk to me, Uh-huh. oh my gosh. Is it, it like medicine? It is. <laughs> it, it is like taking a tranquilizer. <laughs> But oh, a healthy okay. tranquilizer. It's a human, oh, tra a human tranquilizer, right? Yes, yes. Very nice, socially distanced. Oh God, I'm gonna spin it. Older adults have weathered societal storms before. Everything from wearing burlap dresses during the Great Depression to losing loved ones during World War II or prior pandemics. Uh, but guys, there are people, many, that are healing from COVID-19 and it's time for us to celebrate their lives. Folks are even having healing parades. Taking their walk of recovery. I enjoy going outside when the company is nice. <laughs> Put it that way, okay? <laughs> the only ailment I have is my knee hurts me all the time. I don't know Sword. if it's off the... <laughs> <laughs> he might have moved in and said, I'm not leaving anymore, but oh, that's the only thing that... Who's Arthur? Arthritis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if they need something, it's 24 hour service. Um, I need a cup of orange juice at 10 o'clock. So we go up. I think right there you got some strawberry ice cream. Oh, That's your surprise. Well, then I'll just wolf that down. <laughs> they just come in and set it down and right back out. Gingerbread, would you like it diet or would you like it? Uh, uh, the regular. Regular, okay, great. They always say, 
stay in your room. Don't yeah. come in the hallway. <laughs> and I have. I, they said you're safer here than you are anywhere. Here, give me a foot high five. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We, we can't do high fives and we can't do hugs, but we can do foot high fives. Yeah. And if you could, you would hug me because we're both that Come happy. on, we would. We're the huggers. There's the bad boy operators that are out there, but for the most part, if you get into this industry, working with older adults, you deeply believe that people were created to live in community regardless of age or ability or sickness. And what I saw today was people uh, deploying incredible creativity, just like it's happening all over the country. Um, incredible creativity to keep people physically separated, uh, but fully known, fully engaged, and still fully loved.